Good morning. Welcome back to Marty's Tying Bench. This morning I'm tying one of my yeah, favorites from many, many years ago. I used to fish this a lot on the Roaring Fork. It's uh, Prince of Flash. Yeah, you recognize the Prince Nymph. It's just instead of the white biots, we've got some, some Flashaboo. This is a size 14. I'm using... A Diariki 060. Uh, this is a a 2x long nymph hook is is just about right. You can tie this with a bead, but today we're going to tie it without. Uh, you get a little more dead drift out of this thing. It doesn't quite plunge to the bottom, and you'll be fishing it with weight or with a heavier fly or something like that. Or definitely tie a handful of them with the bead. You want to use a finer thread here, a dot or um, uni thread, uh, UTC thread, seventy denier. We're going to tie a couple of biots in and tie these in the way that uh, that you find the easiest. It's uh, if you tie a lot of them, it gets a lot easier. But some people struggle with them if they don't tie them regularly. I'm going to get two biots to get them evened up. They're curved the same direction. Get those ready in my left hand. And it makes it a little easier if you stay up here on the straight part of the shank. And I'm just going to lay that across the top. And those tails should be Oh, maybe the same length as the hook shank, or a little shorter. Shorter seems to look better than too long, so that's kind of the way I lean air on the side of too short. Now I've got some uh, tinsel, oval tinsel. I'm just going to tie that in the same place. And to help build up some bulk underneath my peacock, I'm just going to go ahead and tie on top of those materials. I probably should have extended the tinsel a little farther forward. Now, notice that I left just a little bit of space behind that because I want to turn a peacock behind it. I'm going to get three strands of peacock. And go ahead and tie those in the same full length of our abdomen. There's not really a thorax on this fly. Okay. Now I'm going to get one turn behind the tinsel and then just come forward with the peacock. Now if you like to put your peacock on by twisting it on your thread or twisting the peacock, do it the way you like. I find that going hand over hand like this gives me a nice fluffy peacock body. So now I'm going to make just just three turns. It might end up being four until I get to the front. Okay, now for hackle, you can use any brown hackle. You could use grizzly. I got a brown dyed grizzly that's kind of, kind of a nice rich reddish color. Tie that in securely. Now, I'm only making a turn maybe a turn and a half at most. I just want a semblance of legs. I don't want 
is to be too brushy. That's kind of a mess, but that's okay because I'm going to take my fingers, sweep everything back. And make some turns towards the peacock, and that will help spread them out. And you're going to have strays here, that's okay. If you get some of the points straight forward, go ahead and trim them. Now, for the wing, I've got uh, Flash of Boot. You can use Pearl, this one happens to be Opal. And this is a real fine cut. It's like one one hundredth a micro. So I've kind of prepared a little bundle of it that's I tied it off on one end so I can tie a bunch of flies without this being a mess. There's about ten strands in there. I'm gonna tie that right behind the eye and move my thread back towards the peacock and then I'm going to fold this stuff back over the top stretch it a little bit and it's a pretty distinct head on this one that's okay it's part of the fly and a whip finish Three quarters of the length, just a little bit longer than the hackle. There you go. It'll stand up a little bit, but it'll pulse in the water. With my thumbnail, I kind of spread it out into a little bit of a fan. That's kind of hard to see the way this medallion works, but there you go. Prince of Flash, add this one to your row of attractor nymphs.